Hey, thank you all very much for coming here this afternoon to the my inaugural Governor's Ag Conference. It's our 27th year of doing the Governor's Ag Conference. And today we've got a very exciting announcement that we're talking about here. I've got uh, John Heck, who's the Senior Vice uh, President of Business Development at Schooler, and Randy Thielen, who is the Senior Vice President of Corporate Development at the Greater Omaha Chamber. And they're going to talk about a study that the Omaha Chamber did with regard to agriculture, Nebraska, Omaha, where we take this big strategic picture. We're very pleased that they chose the Governor's Ag Conference to be able to uh, release the information, so we're very pleased that you join us for that. Also with us here today is Greg Abba, who's the Director of the uh, Department of Agriculture here. But without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to John and Randy. Well, thank you, Governor. So we are excited to be able to announce today the new agribusiness targeted industry study, where we're purposefully now going forward looking to grow jobs and investment in Nebraska around this industry. As we've heard at this conference, there's a tremendous market opportunity both domestically and around the world, and we now have the economic development strategy that will guide our work going forward to bring those jobs, bring the investment to Nebraska. We're excited about the opportunity. We see plenty of verticals of opportunity, uh, plenty of sectors within the agribusiness that have impacts both in Omaha and across the state, and we're looking forward to working with our partners in Lincoln and in all parts of Nebraska to make this happen. Thank you. Um, Randy, I'd also like to add that uh, we've really identified a lot of strengths throughout Omaha and Nebraska. We've got uh, a great company base of industry leaders in Omaha. We've got tremendous resources across Nebraska with our education system, our acres, our water, and our know-how to produce high-quality food products for the world. I think combining that know-how with uh, the development efforts of the Greater Omaha Economic Development Foundation, as Randy said, will turn into some, some real silo development where we can bring new companies, new jobs, and new opportunities to all of Nebraska. Thank you. And so I think the good news for agriculture in this is uh, we've been talking about the growth and the success of Nebraska agriculture for a number of years. And on the production side, this now has our largest city stepping to the plate and saying that this uh, agriculture means jobs for not only rural uh, kids and rural youth that are looking for careers, but it's uh, pointing out the job opportunities that there are for youth across Nebraska, even urban youth, that are going to be necessary for the technology, the logistics, the data management, the manufacturing design, and the communication jobs that are also part of the important ag industry in developing the next generation of technology and processing that's going to drive our agricultural sector. Great. I, I just if I could uh, throw my two cents in on this. One of the things I think that is really exciting about this is that it's addressing an issue that we have here in the state. You know, over 15 months ago, I pulled together my ag advisory team to talk about the issues that face agriculture here in Nebraska. And one of the biggest issues was the urban-rural divide. And this study and this strategy really helps try to link both our rural parts of the state and our urban part of the state, especially our largest urban city, Omaha. And that that strategy all dovetails together is really important to bring our state together so that we all know that we'll all succeed together. So I really appreciate the work that the uh, Omaha Chamber Foundation, the Greater Omaha Chamber, has done to release the strategy, to focus us on this industry of focusing on food, water, and biochemicals as the way that we're going to grow in Nebraska.